excitement, butterflies flying. You had me trying. Hey guys, welcome back, and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and I make a ton of gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also make a lot of other content here on my channel so I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and join our little family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's video is going to be one of my very most requested videos of the whole entire year and that is what I got my kids for Easter. Easter stuffing, basket, gift guide, what have you. It is finally here. I know it's a bit behind. First off, it is my bad. One, virtual learning has kicked my butt this year with my girls. It has been so hard to find extra free time. I feel like I'm on the go constantly. And unfortunately, YouTube is getting kind of the bulk of that hit. And secondly, everything I ordered took so long to come in and I don't know why. I've never had such a bad experience when ordering things online. Um, so many things came that were wrong items, that were broken, that were opened, um, things that have just been really, really late. So I got the majority of everything in here. There may be a couple things that are missing, but I will make sure to insert pictures and links for you guys as always. Um, but I will say, although I did shop online, the majority of these items you still can get in time um, if you're watching this now. If you go in store to Walmart and Target, um, as well as all of the Amazon goods did come on time and if not early and most of them I think are like overnight if not like next day arrivals. So depending on where you are and all that type of stuff. So I will say that, that that's the one good thing about this is I feel like it's still, you still got time to get stuff here. So um, I have two girls. My oldest is four. My oldest is not four. Oh my gosh. My oldest is six her name is olive my youngest is four and her name is eleanor so i'll be sharing both of their baskets i'm also going to be sharing my nephew um his little basket he is about one and a half now um he he will get a full easter basket i'm sure from his parents and my mom and that stuff but this is just a little gift one that we're going to give to him from us and we also um wanted to just chip up chip up cheer up our neighbors um day and they have three little ones and we just want to i don't know spread the community it's been a hard year for everyone and we just want to bring some smile to their faces so we the girls and i and jazz all picked out a fun basket filled with little goodies for them so i'm going to share some of those ideas so i hopefully will cover every aspect i also have a couple things for my husband so i'm hoping really to give you guys as many ideas as possible from all different ages i'm so excited to share this with you so sit back it's probably going to take a second and let's get started um, I'm gonna start with Eleanor's, but first I'm gonna share kind of their mutual gift. Um, I always get them a new book every Easter, a Christian related book. Um, the line that we really, really like, the series we've been loving, um, is Tales That Tell the Truth. For the past three years, I've gotten one from this line. The first one is The Garden, The Curtain, and The Cross, which is so good. Um, also, God's Very Good Idea, which is really, really good. And this year we got uh, Goodbye to Goodbyes, which is a true story about Jesus and Lazarus. Um, this, I love the story of Lazarus and Jesus. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's one that I used at my dad's eulogy when he passed away. Um, and the girls unfortunately have had to experience a lot of grief um, and loss already in their life and with my losing my dad last year and then um, baby our baby boy um, their baby brother when I was pregnant with him and so it's just been really hard and I feel like their little hearts have been really hurting so I'm really hoping that this provides a lot of comfort for them I love this series um, I feel like it, it does a really good I job good I job good job at explaining it for little minds um, anyway but the illustrations are beautiful and they're really sweet um, I love the writing and something I else I really appreciate it is that Jesus is never whitewashed um, he which is very common in like Christian art and literature they actually do a really good job at representing him for the most part of how he probably looks at least for like a cartoon drawing um, but yeah so I recommend the series a lot I really like this one and I'm really looking forward to reading this one with them all right so we're just gonna go ahead and start with Eleanor like I said she's my youngest she is four a lot of them have similar things 
because they're sisters and they're at that age where they both like the same things and they like to fight. Um, but they do have some unique things too. So the first thing I got Eleanor was just a coloring book. Everything at um, Kroger is all on mega sale. All of their Easter stuff, their gifts, candy, decorations. I feel like that's what they did with all of their uh, holiday and seasonal stuff. Everything was already on sale. So I recommend checking out Kroger. This was a dollar. It's just a coloring book. It's nothing that exciting, but Eleanor's starting to get into coloring. She really hasn't been up until really recently. Ollie has been like the little artiste, but Eleanor's really starting to enjoy it now. So I got her her own new coloring book and a pack of markers just for her um, so she can have fun doing that. I also found this set at uh, Walmart. They're individual pieces, but I just got them as a set. So they're from Walmart. They're the Year Zone line from the Year Zone line. They're 98 cents. I just got a little plate and a bowl. Uh, these are unicorns, obviously, <laughs> but they also have an owl, a bear, and I want to say a shark or something like that. And they're all different colors. Really, really cute. Um, they're really nice quality, like nice and dense. Um, and thick. They are microwave safe and dishwasher safe, so that's really nice. Um, but they're cute. I really like them. I like the Year Zone line, so our plates and our cups and everything are getting really gross, so I always like to kind of do a refresh, and I feel like these are like a fun, really inexpensive things to put in Easter baskets, so we both will be getting one of those. Um, all of our jammies are super yucky. All of their PJs, both of them, they're outgrowing them, and they're just like falling apart because they wear them so much. So, I each bought each little girl each little why did i say that's so weird i bought each girl a little nightgown um these are from target this is one that eleanor's been wanting for a long time she saw it up um like hanging like around christmas time and she's been wanting it ever since so i decided to get it for her for easter i feel like it's so fun and bright and springy just fun beautiful big bold flowers um this is from the cat and jack line this is an extra small four or five um I hate that they're made of flame resistant fabric. It just feels like, ugh, I hate that fabric. I wish I would have known that before I bought it because I really don't enjoy the way it feels. She probably won't mind, but I don't really understand why they still make pajamas like that. But anyway, it's cute. It was only $8. Uh, she's gonna be excited because she's been wanting this for a long time. So that is her new little nightgown. We're so popular for Easter are bubbles. Um, last year, I think we tried this brand. These were the Zuru Bubble Wows. My brother got them like gloves. They had like the gloves that worked really, really well. The bubbles are really nice bubbles, but they were just kind of hard to keep on the hand, especially with the solution. So I'm really excited they came out with these because it's like a nice wand to grip onto. And I feel like this is a bit more user friendly and reusable we can just rinse the wings when they're done and let them dry there's a bubble solution like a little case that you just like dip it in um, and then when they run out of that bubble solution we can always use new bubbles so it's really fun it's really good for little ones who really can't get the blowing aspect of bubbles yet um, this was like a really good option because they can just wave it and a ton of bubbles come out so wave and play I really like the bubble wows so I'm hoping that this little guy works out well so we have one for each girl we also, I saw this from Mama Aliyah's. I have a bunch of recommendations from her because she's great. I will have her channel linked below. She is awesome with her recommendations. I always trust her. So um, I got some bubbles. These are no spill bubbles. The girls always want to do their own bubbles and they always spill them. So I'm excited to see if these actually work. These were only 98 cents at Walmart in the Walmart Easter basket like stuffers. A good beanie boo, always perfect, perfect size for Easter baskets. This one's a cute little chick. Eleanor's been wanting these. She loves beanie boo boos. We got them for Christmas, her birthday. It's like her new little collection she's starting. This one is really adorable. I get my beanie boos on the actual Thai website. They have free shipping. They're the cheapest that I can find. Their selection may not always be great because they do sell out of stuff, um, but when you can get them, um, they are great price, free shipping, and their shipping is really fast. I ordered these and they came a day to two days later. Super, super fast. Really, really cute. I love little beanie boos. I think they're adorable. So this one's Eleanor's. Um, I got them Hatchimals, Collectibles, Wilder Wings. They still are obsessed with figures. This may or may not, if I can kind of squinch it down, may end up going in like one of the eggs to, you know, go on the egg hunt. If not, I'll stick it in the basket. We'll figure it out. But I did get these. I think this is like a new one. I think they have big wings or something. They'll probably like it. I don't know. Um, I found this on clearance. Eleanor's gotten really into doing her makeup like her sister. They'll probably both use this, 
but I'm probably gonna put this in Eleanor's. This was only three dollars. Uh, Glitterazzi glitter gel palette. It's just like glitter gel for their eyes. They'll probably put it all over. It'll be a thing, but found on clearance. So I was like, yes. Now, if you guys are watching my channel for a while, you know that we have done slime. And you know that every time I have done slime, I revolt and it's been my, my biggest mistake every single time. So we no longer <laughs> have slime in this house. But recently the girls were finishing up like a Crayola slime bath. It was basically like slime bath, body wash, bubble bath. It was like flubber and they loved it. And I loved it because I realized it doesn't get anywhere. It gets in the tub and it washes away. Like I don't have to worry about getting their hair on their clothes wherever. It's the best. So I found this. Now this is very different consistency. The Crayola one was like actual like jelly. Um, and you could like, it was like a bit more malleable. This is like goop. So we'll see if they like it as much. They may not. It's really sticky, sticky and really liquidy. So this may not be as user friendly as I was hoping and it is kind of pricey this was about six dollars at Target it smells incredible it has like pretty good ingredients in it it's all phthalate um sulfate free paraben free and phthalate free 100 percent 100 skin natural ingredients and nutrients all that type of stuff it smells great we'll see um we'll see it may not be worth the price, but if anything, it's like a nice sensory activity or experience that they can have fun with and then not happen again. But well, I'll, I'll let you know. Every year the girls get swimsuits. Their swimsuits, unfortunately, are not here yet. I got them off of H&M this year. They are so adorable. I will put a picture up of Eleanor's. I freaking love it. It makes me think of like 1980s circa My Little Pony, circa 1980s My Little Pony kind of esque. I love it. It is so cute. I just love the bright neon rainbow colors this summer. I feel like that's what I got the girls all the time because they're so much fun. So that is hers. And then I also always get them some sort of summer shoe. So this year, um, these are Eleanor's. They're adorable. These are from Target. These are kind of like that foam type of material the reason that i really like these is they don't get hot so these are like good water friendly shoes because one they don't get ruined in the water they rinse off really well but they don't heat up and burn their little feet so i really really like them um they have they're pink but they have sprinkles on them they're adorable i think they're so cute they have a bunch of different colors i think they actually have some camel ones for little boys or little girls, whoever. Uh, but they have camo, sprinkles, um, purple, all sorts of colors, but I just loved the sprinkles. I thought they were super cute. And this year they added a new, I feel, I feel like the ones we used to have or like the ones last year, the year before, didn't have like a strap. They were kind of hard to get in and out of. So I'm glad that they added a Velcro strap. I love these. I think they're adorable. So these are Eleanor's. If you watched what I got my youngest for her birthday, you will have seen that I got um, a bunch of these sleek unicorns. A bunch, I mean two, and then I got a different Briar unicorn set. They were the biggest hit. Both girls loved them. They're really easy to transport and play with all over. They're incredible quality. Highly, highly recommend still. So I decided to keep adding to her collection. So I got this one. This one's a full, which by the way, thank you for correcting me. One of you corrected me and I knew I was wrong, but I couldn't remember the word. I'm surprised that my youngest didn't, or my oldest didn't bust in the room and was like, you got it wrong because she's super into horses right now. So thank you for correcting me. It's a full, but this is like a little rainbow one, rainbow unicorn full super adorable they have a stallion and a mare as well but we just started with the little baby um and they've been loving them i highly recommend them they're incredible quality and i feel like will last for a very long time um and i yes i also got another one this one isn't like a surprise bag i do believe it's this same unicorn and i believe they're the same size they're both fulls and i believe they're the same size feeling them i don't know if this quality is a little bit different though um it was a little cheaper so i'll let you know this may be a little bit like of a cheaper quality one but i don't know i don't know both are really great or both are sleek is just great so um got those all on amazon i highly recommend them they have every animal under the sun and be perfect for a little one's little basket so moving on
One of the girl's favorite presents I got with, a couple years back was from Walmart. It was a ribbon wand and it's finally met its match and completely deteriorated. Um, and it was only like a buck or something. So I was so excited to find this this year at Target. This is from the Sun Squad Light Up Dance Ribbon. Um, I can't for the life of me get this thing to light up. I know it does because it's done it like once or twice. I don't know. It says tap to try. Like it's so easy. Like. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so here's my thing is I really don't care that much about the lighting. Like it's fun, like that's really exciting, but it's more about the ribbon wand aspect of it. And so if it doesn't work all the time to light, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm so excited. I think that they're gonna love it. Now this one isn't rainbow necessarily, but it's holographic and I think it's gonna be so fun to play with. I try really hard to focus more of our Easter baskets around more activities, um, specifically outdoor activities. And so this will be so fun for them to like dance and spin around and do all their stuff with their wands again. So I got them each one because I knew they would fight if they didn't have one. Girl is getting each girl is getting a Lip Smackers Agua Frescas um, little lip gloss. This is a guava in guava pineapple. It is so flipping adorable. It is so cute. Like, Lip Smackers, man. Just so cute. They each got one of these, and then they each got a new hand sanitizer. This one is the, smack, the Lip Smackers ones. This is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I'm hoping that they fit. I don't think it's going to now looking at it, but I was hoping that they would fit their little containers that I got from Target this past year for Christmas time. Those have come in handy so well. We just keep them on the back of um, our two seats, the two like front seats in the car. So my, the driver's seat and the passenger side because their seats are directly behind. And so when instantly we get in from going anywhere, we just pop it open, they squeeze a little bit in their hand and close it and each should have just their own. It's worked out very well. I highly recommend that that um but i don't think they're gonna fit in there but it'll be fine we'll just put it in their little pocket in front or whatever but they each got one eleanor's is mermaids and hers is um strawberry it's very strongly scented so if you are not going to want to have that smell if you're pregnant and going through morning sickness i wouldn't recommend it <laughs> eleanor loves poop i found this at dollar tree it's literally it's like a squeezy squishy blob of poop <laughs> You throw it on a counter, it apparently splats out and then reforms into a poop ball. Um, it's something she's gonna love. It'll probably get gross really fast, but it was fun. It's a good sensory toy and she's gonna love it. So I got a little pack of poop. So um, this is going to be a mutual gift, but it's probably gonna go over into Eleanor's side because it is a poop. It's a poop shape. Um, but this is the Silly Poopies Hide and Seek game this is something i also saw on mama leah's channel when she was doing um christmas her christmas gift guide uh, she showed this and at the time it was sold out um but this is like an award-winning toy it sings and basically you hide it in a place and then your kids go looking for it and it talks and sings for them to come find it um this is something they played all the time with their own toys and they love hide and seek and so it'll be fun to have one that's interactive with them um and i just think it's going to be so fun i feel like it's going to get a lot of use and hopefully keep them distracted enough so i can get some work done um it's inexpensive i think this will be really really fun for them and it's just a good kind of active toy uh ages three and up two plus players super cute i'm excited like i said this had incredible reviews on amazon so thank you Aaliyah, again I'm super excited for that one. Last but not least, this is kind of getting out of hand. You guys are gonna be like, what the heck are you thinking? Again, but this isn't gonna fit in a box at all, or the basket. Everything else, I could, I can, but this one, it's not happening. But we're gonna just gonna put it next to it. And this is the B Hop and Glow. I guess it's just Hop and Glow. It's a ball. It's one of those good old classic bounce balls with the handles. I had one, I feel like these are just like the fun, retro style type of toy that was one of my favorite toys i had it forever until the snaps finally broke off of it this is made for three years and up so it's not i feel like all the like inflatable bouncy toys are for like toddlers and like little toddlers and so this one is like three years up and I, there's a lot of parents or a lot of reviews that were like my eight-year-old loves it and judging by this kid down here they look pretty big so i'm hoping that they both can get some joy out of it they both are really small and and they're like percentile uh, when we go to the doctors and their ranges and stuff are under so I'm assuming that they'll both get enough use and there's not a risk of popping I'll let you know, but there's light up balls that shake and light up inside of it 
it was inexpensive I just thought this was a fun thing once again the activeness that I'm just trying to reincorporate as we get and turn into spring and summertime um, I'm sure they both will love this and I'm sure they both will fight in it and I'm sure we'll have injuries but right now I'm optimistic and I'm excited so I'll probably have it all blown up next to their baskets not doing a whole lot of candy because um, or at least not do a lot of candy in their baskets because that's going to be for their egg hunt. We got some Peeps. This is a cotton candy flavor. Got these at Dollar Tree. You love them or you hate them. My kids love them. I don't know how I feel about them. Um, this is the Nerds Rope Easter. They love these. I get these every holiday. They're one of their favorites. And then Reese's Peanut Butter Eggs. And if you guys watch my Christmas one, I said that the shaped Reese's are so much better than the regular and you all agreed with me and I'm so glad you did. I think the eggs are probably the best. So they each have one and I might have gotten one for myself. <laughs> all right, let's move on to Olive. Um, she is six and so she's getting into that little girl phase where it's very like not little girl anymore but not like a tween but like just like I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big girl you know like that sass and attitude we watched Cheetah Girls for the first time the other day and there was a lot of you go girl she delicious so that type of vibe <laughs> so we're there um and I want to cry because she's getting so big so anyway yes that's you don't even care that's that um she also like I said has her own plate and bowl like her sister she also has her own bubble wand it's just dragon I wish I got both of the butterfly or bee whatever that thing is but it's really not the big deal um, they also both she also has a wand just like her sister her own bubbles and same candy she's got peeps a nerd rope and a Reese's egg she also has her hand sanitizer, which is the unicorn one. This one is, I think, cotton candy, cotton candy clouds. It smells good. I like this one better than strawberry, if you were wondering. Um, she also has her own Hatchimal wings. I'm trying to show you all the similar items. Yeah, I think that was it for their similar things. All right. Um, she her beanie boo um both like i said got them on the thai website her beanie boo is kiki she loves cats and this one is cute with a little sparkly bow um she's really soft and sweet so this is her first beanie boo she hasn't been interested in beanie boos until recently because her sister's interested in them so we'll see how long it lasts and if she continues or if this one ends up in her sister's collection which is my guess but she's got kiki um, for her bath, so since Eleanor got a slime toy, I got Ollie a loofah. This is a one, this is like a llama corn um, that I got from Walmart. I know loofahs aren't supposed to be the best thing in the entire world. I still use one, you know? The girls use one. This is Ollie's. That's her loofah. Um, for her makeup bit, um, I if you watched my... Stocking stuffers, I shared these because it took me down memory lane like crazy. This is the LA Color Loose Eyeshadow. I got this one in Snow White. Please tell me that it wasn't just me, but I feel like in from like sixth grade on until like, I don't know when, but at least from like sixth grade through ninth grade, I like white eyeshadow and thick liner. Is that, was that a thing for anybody else? It was just like, just white? and then liner and mascara. Sometimes not even liner. It was, I just feel like that was such a thing. Like you had to do the white lids. I don't know, let me know if that was you as well. That was like the trend at our school. So this took me back because this was like one like I had, oh my gosh, so many memories. Anyway, um, Eleanor has one of these but it didn't come in yet. This is from the More Than Magic line. This is a scented glitter roller ball. Um, it has a little unicorn ring on it. It actually smells pretty decent. Um, they are just, they like all the things that Mommy likes, all the makeup and beauty things. They're getting to that little girl phase where the, all that is super fun for them. And so I thought these were really cute. It was only a couple dollars. It has like little, what are these? Stars, <laughs> oh my gosh stars um and 
it smells pretty good. I mean, it's a very synthetic little girly fragrance, little girl fragrance, but it's fun and she's gonna love it. So they each have their own little big girl roller balls. Um, Ollie's is a unicorn, Eleanor has a mermaid. Um, but that one has not come in yet, but I think these were only about $3 at Target. I found this pack of fake nails. Aaliyah also shared that um, Impressions came out with some and I saw those the other day and I would have bought them had I not already bought this because they are so cute. I found them at Walmart. But I did find these at the Dollar Tree. They're good enough for now, but these are little cupcake ones and Ollie will be really excited. Um, her little nightgown was from the same line. Um, Cat and Jack, hers just happens to be a horse with Wild Dreamer on it. She's obsessed with horses right now. So, um, yeah, that's hers. Hers is in a size small, I believe. Yep, six. And it's really cute. Also, $8. Her summer shoes... <coughs> her summer shoes are some jellies. I can never not get them jellies. They always have jellies. I love these. They're so fun. They're just like ombre, tie-dye almost, glitter pink, orange, peach, yellow jellies. We had the clear ones last year. I love them, they have little stars on the bottom. They smell so good. I feel like they've perfumed them because these smell like blueberries. Anyway, I love jellies. <laughs> these were $9.99 from Target, Cat and Jack line. So freaking cute. All right, Ollie um, also got really, is like I said, she loves horses. Um, and she asked for, instead of the unicorn figurines, she asked for horse figurines. So I found both of these from, um, Schleek, and I have no idea what these horses are called. Um, she asked, she wanted an Appaloosa. She just said one that's, I don't know what that horse is, but I'm, she said it's white with black dots. I'm guessing this is an Appaloosa. It may not be. I have no idea, but I'm hoping she won't notice. <laughs> um, yes, so I got her this one. I don't know if it's a stallion or a mare. I think it's a stallion. By the way, if I don't think the unicorns have this, but they are anatomically, you know, correct down there. So if that's going to be an issue, I'm just letting you know. It was surprising at first because he's very, he's packing. I shouldn't say that it's a horse toy. Okay, you know what I'm saying. It's just there. So if it's going to make you uncomfortable, just be aware of it. It's not a big deal. It's life. It's a horse. I'm just letting you know if you weren't expecting that. Um, yeah, I, keep, I feel weird looking at their parts. Anyway, this one also is endowed. Um, I believe this one's a mare. It might be a foal, but I think it's a mare. It looks like a woman or a girl, a girl horse. Anyway, these are the horses. <laughs> I just made myself so uncomfortable. This one has pretty braids in her hair and her mane. Um, but yeah, so these are the ones I got all of. <laughs> We're moving on um, to go along with that. And so they both can play with this. I found this Melissa and Doug wooden horse corral. I just thought it would be fun that they'd have like a little corral. Ollie's been talking about getting a barn. She can save up her money if she wants to do that one. But at least they have like a little wooden corral. This one has good reviews. I love Melissa and Doug, so I'm not surprised and they can play with this with their horses and their unicorns. Um, something that they both will play with, but this is going in Ollie's basket, is a new pack of sidewalk chalk. Um, we used the heck out of it last year and then I couldn't replenish it because of the pandemic and everybody was buying chalk. So I'm excited that I finally got some new ones this year. So they just have a new pack of fresh chalk. Um, Ollie will also be getting this pack of hair clips. These are from Cat and Jack. Um, they're butterflies, they're really pretty. We all love the hair accessories right now. I also have a bunch of stuff that hasn't come in from Shein that are like little gummy bear clips that are super adorable, scrunchies, necklaces, sunglasses, all really adorable. I'll put pictures up. They're probably the scrunchies and the stuff. I'm gonna probably put that in their Easter egg hunts and then the sunglasses will go in their back um, or in their basket. Also, Ollie's swimsuit is also from H&M, also really cute. Once again, going with that fun, like tie-dye rainbow theme. I just love it. They're so 
fun and bright and that's the type of swimsuit she asked for uh this summer she wanted a fun bright rainbow one so i found this two piece from h&m and i just think that they both are gonna look adorable so that is their swimsuit for this year all right i got ollie this uh pack of old maid cards these are the easter bunny jumbo edition um i thought she'd be she's like getting really interested in wanting to play games and stuff like that more like bigger adult games and while this is ages three plus um, I think this will be fun for her and her sister once we all play together her sister can get the knack of it and they can play together Because um, I have some memories with my brother and I playing cards all the time and they're some of my favorite memories So old maid is always fun chuckles and roar chuckle and roar from Target such a good line So I got this from Target for a couple bucks and then this is another awesome um, Suggestion from Malia. This is the meet Yasmin series. Um, it is a Adorable. So Ollie has been really really enjoying reading. She's still she's still getting it. It's still it's not like she's just you know reading Chapter books by the day or anything. She's still in kindergarten But she's doing such a good job and I love seeing her read and just her writing and reading everything everywhere It's been so fun. So I decided that we would start reading this together and this is a series a little chapter book series that is also illustrated called meet yasmin there's a bunch of different books in this series i love the representation um i think yeah their pakistani american family i think is so awesome because you don't get a lot of pakistani and middle eastern just like leads and heroes and just really represented um and i think that's awesome i would love if you have any recommendations if there if you have a series um full of indie american um children's books i would love to know i've had a hard time finding something like that because i would love the girls to be able to have that because it's part of who they are um but she is adorable i love the illustrations in here they're super cute um the sentences are a little bit probably advanced for her but i think uh, when we read it together she gets a knack of it i think she's going to love this this seems like right up her alley it's adorable i'm so excited so thank you Aaliyah, again and then the last but not least gift for ollie is this faux apple pencil the box looks beat to heck she's not going to care but um, this was like 20 bucks compared to like 100 bucks or however much an apple pencil costs. Um, Ollie loves to draw and doodle on her iPad and she's been getting frustrated because her finger's too big and it creates too big of a line. And so she's been wanting to get a stylist and she's mentioned that. But I've had this idea on my mind for a long time and so I'm so excited. So this I believe is Bluetooth enabled. If not, I don't know, somehow it works. <laughs> Um, and it also has like um, palm, what, is, what do they call it? it? Like palm rejection. So like when you write on your thing um, and your hand touches the screen, you're, it doesn't read your hands like heat imprint and cause a line there. It only is coming from the pen. So I'm really excited. It looks just like an Apple pen, Apple pencil. Um, I, I can't wait for her to use this. I'm sure I will make sure that they both get equal use and Eleanor definitely does share and get experience with it as well. But this is mainly for Ollie because it's something that she absolutely loves to do. So I'm really, really excited. It's such an inexpensive price. Um, hopefully it works. I want to try to set it up to see if it works before I give it to her, but I'm really excited. So that's kind of like a fun kind of bigger gift. Um, and then last but not least in their st uh, baskets, they will get a double pack of lip smackers. Once again, apparently lip smackers was my trend this year. These are little lip glosses. This is buttercream magic and strawberry kiwi glimmer. Just little two unicorn lip glosses. I'll divvy them up and they'll go in their baskets. And that is it for the girls. I'm done. Do not tell me otherwise because I can't. I need to stop sometime. Okay. It's getting out of hand. All right, if that's all you wanted and you're done and you stuck around, thank you so much for watching. But if you want to see more bit baskets, stick around with me. So this is my nephew's. Like I said, he doesn't get a big giant one. This is just a little gift, at least from us, he doesn't get a big giant one. We're just giving him a little gift because I love him and I don't want to spoil him. So this is his little basket um, and then some grass, both from the Dollar Tree, another Mama Leah. <laughs> I just got everything she suggested. Uh, Pick is this Fisher-Price little gamer. It's like a little Game Boy. 
This is so freaking cool. Fisher Price came out with all these like retro style toys and I'm honestly contemplating buying them. They have like a mixtape, a boom box, this little guy. I'm honestly com contemplating buying them and just keeping them from God willing we have another baby because I love them too much and they just make me so nostalgic. So I got this for my nephew but I'm probably gonna buy some for myself and just keep them, not for myself, hopefully for my future child and just keep them hidden away. But it's really, really cute. It has little touch pads. There's like a little Tetris kind of thing on the side. Switches. Um, I will say that the only concern would be that it's like cartridge in there. It kind of can be kind of flashy. Um, so if you just for epilepsy, um, like warning, I guess, and trigger warnings, that's what I would say, um, because it can be kind of flashy, especially in dull lighting. So that's all I wanna say about that, but it's inexpensive, really cute. I can't wait for him to have it. I got him this Batman chalk set. He really loves Batman. I got him this chalk set. His dad will probably have to help him with that. There's some baby goldfish, and then he also has some bubbles. All right, so for our neighbors, I just made up this big basket. Once again, the grass. Um, from Walmart. I also got the basket for just a couple dollars from Walmart. And in here we have two of the um, chalks. These are the Celebrate Easter chalks from Walmart. They're only 98 cents. So I got one. They have a, uh, a little girl around Ollie's age, um, an older boy, um, and a little baby boy. So I don't know if they wanted it, but I just got the mixed ones. So we got some little chicky chalk and some unicorn chalk. Um, I got, I, I don't, it was hard to know what he likes, the older boy, because I don't have an older boy. So I was trying to ask Jazz and he's like, things have changed so much, I don't know what he's into. So I found this, hopefully he likes it. If not, it's not that big of a deal. But it's his monster trucks, Hot Wheels, Star Wars, connect and crash car. It's Chewbacca, I thought it was fun. Hopefully he likes it. It's cool. I don't know. I thought it was cool. Um, for the little one, I got this little price, um, little people, little price, Fisher Price, little people, um, little fire truck, and a little guy. Oh, it's a girl. I think it's a girl. Well, it could be a guy, I guess. It has a ponytail. She, he, they have a ponytail. I don't know. You know. Do that with what you will. Um, really adorable, inexpensive. All from Walmart. Um, I got their daughter, two lip smackers. Apparently, once again, lip smackers. Uh, the unicorn and mermaids. One, I also got her this really pretty little headband. This was at Walmart. Um, it has like, it's like squishy. And it has a bunch of sequins and glitter that kind of moves inside of it. I thought it was fun. Um, they have some Fubbles again. I keep saying Flubbles. Am I saying Flubbles or am I saying Fubbles? The bubbles got some for them. I also got them all some of this Silly Scents dough from Crayola. Um, they have some dough in here and a cutter. So we got a teal one, a mint one, and a purple one. So that is what I got all of them. I'm really excited. I hope that they like it. I can't wait to just like go knock on their door and run away. Um. Anyway, and then the last thing I'm going to share with you guys is my husband's basket. Just a couple of the items. I haven't finished it yet, but just because I know some of you guys also give your significant others. Um, and if you have like an older son or whomever, a boyfriend, just some ideas. So this is his basket. We've had it forever. Um, the I'm going... I haven't gotten everything yet, but I'll put pictures of the stuff that is coming. Um, but it is face. I'm doing like a whole face skincare line because he needs to take care of his skin. It's driving me crazy. He's terrible with his skin. Um, so I want him. To, I want to instill a good skincare practice. So I found these two things. I also have a face wash, retinol cream, moisturizer all coming in. Hopefully there's pictures that's popped up. And these are the um, other things that I have. I have this Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. Um, it's formulated without paraben sulfates, phthalates, mineral oil, petroleum, formaldehydes. 
uh, triglycerin, no, triglossin, retinol, gluten, synthetic fragrance, and preservatives. Like literally everything is out of this thing. It's probiotic skincare. I know Tula has been like really hyped lately um, on Instagram at least. Hopefully he likes it. I know scrubs can be iffy for skincare people. Um, but he, like, I, I don't know what he would do without a scrub. I'm trying to get him not to use his freaking loofah on his face. So, baby steps. Next, I got him the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Um, this was from Ulta. This was really inexpensive. Once again, taking baby steps. Um, I also got him this. This is the RGB LED TV backlight from Govi. Um, I saw this on Amazon. I thought this was really cool. We got a new TV around Christmas time because our old one, we just had to do like a switch out, you know? Our, our one in here was like dying and going away and so we had, doesn't matter, we got a new TV. <laughs> um, so I saw this and thought it would be cool. I love like setting the mood and so does he for just like movies or just hanging out. And so I thought this would be fun. He has, I don't think he has any idea. There's no remote control. You can adjust the brightness, colorful lighting, all that sort of stuff. I know that the newer versions, they can sync through like Google Home and the other apps um but i didn't get that one i probably should have because we do have a google home but it's okay this is gonna be fun i'm excited to give that to him i was gonna get him cologne but he already got himself that so i don't know what else i'm getting him yet maybe a couple shirts we'll figure it out but this is where we're at i just wanted to share that stuff with you all right guys that is it thank you so much for sticking around with me if you lasted through this whole video i know it was super long but i hope i gave you a ton of ideas like i said below before i will link everything below like i always do and hopefully you can do store pickup for most of these things um, or next day shipping through amazon I'm really excited for all the items I got. I had so much fun shopping this year for my girls and for um, our other family members and our neighbors. It was so much fun and Easter is one of my favorite holidays and I'm so excited for the spring and the warmer weather. I hope you guys are doing okay. I know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and we can all feel it and sometimes I feel like this is kind of the hardest time because we're so close but we're still not quite there yet and so I feel like it can just be really, really discouraging but I hope you know that we're almost there and I love you all I'm thinking about you all we're gonna make it I hope that you're doing okay I think about you all the time and I hope you guys have a wonderful spring and a wonderful Easter I'll see you guys very soon bye guys